Uh, Jeff, it's probably better seen as consumption. I think we talk about long mm -hmm. run real return on stocks of 6% in the US. Uh, Mike Milken argues for real estate, it's pretty close to zero. And when you count uh, everything that uh, people end up investing in their homes to, to upgrade them, uh, very hard to get a return on these things, especially for those of us who were blessed to choose New Jersey as a home. Exactly. But, uh, I was but, just thinking that every every day we lose money on our we lose we lose value in our houses. But that's been one of the most interesting dynamics for me is how the the, the home was once the ultimate investment and it is not now. In the Northeast it has a lot to do with paying what I call property taxes, paying rent to the government to own the houses, right. where now you have people who, who put a significant amount of their money in their homes, selling their homes 15, 20 years later for what they paid for it. Mm -hmm. So not only have single family homes turned out to be a very, very bad investment, they also cast a very negative light on real estate in general. That is just one aspect of real estate. There's a lot more real estate that people could start looking at at, at, at any age, because you don't have to be, most people think you have to be ultra wealthy to be in real estate, you really don't. But staying away from single family homes is probably a smart you, thing. You to tend do. to like to own the dirt under commercial properties. Yes. And uh, along with uh, particular uh, uh, retail stores, uh, it seems like there's sort of a, uh, along with the financial trend, there's kind of a millennial thing with wanting to be in apartments uh, close to a train, uh, close to a city, right. close to amenities versus uh, larger houses that you drive a long way. Right. Through. We took that demographic shift where millennials now want to live near transit hubs. Mm -hmm. And in New York City, where millennials can't afford the astronomical rents in New York City, they want to live in the in New Jersey they want to live outside of the high rent districts yeah. and the further away you get the less rent becomes so we saw that demographic where now if you talk to most millennials they're not even talking about owning a home as being a goal so as a company what we did is we started to really invest in multi and in multifamily and apartments and what it's what it's led to is there's there's such significant demand for apartments and the rents have gone up exponentially whereas you could live in towns like Jersey City or Hoboken and you'd pay a, a, a reasonable amount now the rents in the waterfront from from New York City are now where New York City rents are so we've gone down the train line to, so to speak mm -hmm. and we've started investing because no one wants to own homes. So you could have a home on the market and then you have the, you have the empty nesters who sell their home and rent an apartment and go live in Florida. So you have all these different cross currents in real estate that make it a very attractive asset. Yeah, so uh, uh